What's up everybody? Yes, the gang is coming at ya and welcome back to Fears to Fathom. I'm not gonna lie, I truly enjoyed myself in the last episode that I hands down did not hesitate and I got the next episode. So I'm excited to get into that bad boy. Cause as you know, watching the first episode, that was some spooky shit that a little 14 year old kid would have to deal with if you were home alone. But now we're going into another story, completely different, nothing of the same, probably not even from the same person, totally different story. And this is what, Norwood Hitchhike? Is that what this is? Yeah, Norwood Hitchhike. So what could this possibly be about? I am curious. Something totally different, right? Episode two, baby, Norwood Hitchhike, June 16th. A uh, little bit before my son's birthday. This happened to me when I was 19. Oh, everybody's just so young. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help, even if it's just a little bit. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I get the chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. Right. This convention I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over a 12 hour drive. Oh god. 19 year old, committing to a 12 hour drive. That's intense. Oh god. Oh god. Was the drive? Space to get out? Oh. Am I supposed to drive? What am I listening? Turn that shit off. Driving at night is really therapeutic for me. Okay. Okay, escape to read messages. Dude, I'm trying to drive right now. I don't think that's exactly safe. Okay, you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, hold on. Can I just stop for a second? Yeah, there we go. God, oh damn, we got a list. Discord, we got tick. So, I'll see you, if, I'll see if I can get the car. Let you know, finally going to take Milo on a walk, lol. Okay, the plan is on. Hell yes, wait, you're getting the car? Yup, big girl. You sure Ash can't come? I get the skateboard too? I'll get the skateboard too, saw this really cool. Okay, I guess that's it for me. That was the game. Hope you enjoyed the let's play. Goodbye <laughs> All right, how about I Turn off that shit How about I nope we don't want to go backwards. How about I actually catch up on this information right now? All right, well got that out of the way until I get those other messages but maybe I should wait on those messages until I'm dr done driving. Safe thing to do, right? I'm not gonna read the message. Why would I read the message right now? Save driving. Click it or ticket. It. Dad message me. Aiden message me. And I'm sorry, all 19 year olds. I'm not trying to put you down. Wrong side of the road, Holly. Oop. We're getting low on gas. Shit! Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. Well, shit, sir. That's why they call it a hitchhike. Right! Fuck. Oh! Any moment now, this bad boy's about to die on me. Fuck. Dad, I'm in the middle of driving. I want to read your messages so bad, everybody, but... Uh, yeah, there's a man <laughs> walking in the... Ooh, a gas station. Perfect timing. I don't know what side my gas is on, but I'm just gonna pull up right here. Hold on, hold on. Is that good? Is that good? Do I need to pull up a little more? That seems about adequate. Okay. Um... 
Can I at least check the messages? Uh... Dry, where did you reach? Still about six hours away from the city. Got stuck in a jam. Told you to take that flight. Oh, Holly, it's gonna be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling all right. You gotta do what you gotta do. Okay. Whoa, what is that? Oh, just like some weird flake in the sky? Okay. Well... Okay. Got that. We... Got that. Nope. Get that back in there, please. Nope. Please. Get back in there. Thank you. Let's just shut that. Okay. Don't mind that. Maybe I gotta go in. I guess it didn't say that I needed to stop here. Sir. 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 How's your night going? Where are you headed? Leave. Oh. How's your night going? He just looked at me. Okay. Where are you headed? He just looked at me. Sir. Leave. <laughs> okay. Um, escape. Holly. Mom? Are you gonna message me back, Mom? Mom? What are you doing? Hi, can I get two or ten on pump two? Pretty please, por favor. See your Marlboros right there. How you doing? Uh, you headed to the bridge by yourself? Uh, the bridge? The Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Okay. Be careful. What do you mean? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. And people who went looking for them never returned. Well, shit, man. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. Cool. Well, thanks for the gas. Can I use the toilet? Cool. Okay. You got pumped too. Thanks. Okay. Ooh, there's a van out there. I don't need anything else, do I? <laughs> I don't want to come in here and start causing mayhem. I'm sorry. I'll leave. And one more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Who is she? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never, ever, under any circumstance, pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, man. They just ain't. Okay. Whoa, what was that? I just saw something. That's uh, Mr. Wandering Man over there. Oh, okay. So you're just checking out my fucking vehicle and then you dip out, huh? What the fuck? And also my mom did message me. I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get something for Milo? I'll pay you back. Um. Yeah, why not? I wish I could actually respond. That would be kind of cool. Freaking looking at my vehicular. Where are we from? Does it say? No? Well, it says M.A. Where is pump two? Oh. Okay, so do I gotta go to... No, you shut. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Now let's back her up. Is that good? Okay. Please nobody run up on me. I don't need that in my life. That's stupid. Pump two, man. I was not at that pump. Achievement unlocked. I filled the tank and I was off to road again. Let's road. It's time to road it out. Since my mom asked, I had to buy something for Milo in the store. Well, shit. Okay. I guess I gotta get more stuff. Is it this right here? Yeah, doggy food. Nice. Um, bam! You got pumped too. 
Anything else, ma'am? No, I want to buy this. I want to buy this. Oh, that'll be five bucks. Sorry, I didn't realize I had to have it in my hands. But nice. Thank you very much. And we're good. Let's go. Let's blow this pop stand. The hell out of here. Freaking lady. Being on the road, you do realize a thing. What? Monsters truly do exist. What do you mean? And every single one of them looks just like you and me. Ooh, what was that? Is that a cone or some shit? Mom, I would like to read your message, but... Kinda can't. Oh, my lights went out. My lights went out. Okay, that's enough of that. Is that a vehicle in front of me? Hold on, I do kind of want to look at... God. Can I please see in front of me, please? Uh, just really quickly. It's not expired or anything, right? Okay, that's all you said, Mom. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. We don't need to sit here. Not expired. Oh. Oh. Can I get it back, please? How do I not have any control over my headlights? Oh, my God. There we go. Nice. Glad I decided to start clicking shit. For some reason, Jeepers Creepers is popping my head. Just like with this, like, state of the road. Like, they should have never stopped and looked at that little church area where all the bodies were. Should have just kept on going. Should have told your brother to fuck off. And then also, when I went into the store, leaving my vehicle out there, it made me think about um, when they stopped at that diner or whatever and then they're like hey there's somebody out there sniffing your laundry or whatever like that thought popped in my head no can I see behind me no I can only zoom in that would have been a nice touch if I could actually look in my rear view or look behind me or I don't know like if something was following me um did I just see somebody out there why did this turn into a dirt road all of a sudden? Maybe I didn't see something. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, okay. I guess anything's possible. Oh, little rabbit. Is that in the vehicle with me? That's a very weird thing about that night. I saw two big logs in the middle of the road blocking the way ahead. Am I supposed to... I don't want to get out. I can't even see behind me. I wanted, I saw like a building back here and I was, I don't know, maybe curious to go in there? Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh. What is that? I don't know what that is, man. That could be a freaking dog. That could be like a zombie. Don't know, don't care, I'm leaving. But hey, I got another achievement. That's cool. But I guess I'll just get up here to these logs and hop out and then fucking die, I guess. Don't really see another option. Again, I don't know why I would hop out and look at this shit. It almost seemed deliberate, but I don't think much of it at the time. Oh. 
Nice. I'm gonna die. 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 Is that good? Stop. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go, 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 go. No, 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 not the time. Why is it green in here? Are you fucking kidding me? Dude. That dude who was sitting there at my vehicle sabotaged it somehow. No, I gotta look at the hood. There we go. I just like that. And just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. What was that? What was that? And I would be lying if I say I didn't feel the slightest of unease. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but... What? Throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. Oh my lord. That guy in the white van's gonna pull up, but at that moment, I had no choice. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. And then just like that, a man in a white van passed. And I was saved! F 10 10.23 p.m. I don't even remember the time it was before, so I don't even know. How long has this been going on for? Okay, I saw a car nearing. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Hey! Dude! Pure fucking evil. I didn't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. Even in the middle of this, where there's like these fucking stories and shit. Ten forty-three, so not that much longer in the night, I guess. Oh god, oh god, battery died, right? Oh no, lights are still on. They're just not illuminating anymore. I'm gonna get in my car. You gonna work? Oh come on! Oh, God. That's no good. That's no good. That's no good. Hey, sir. You're the girl from the gas station. Hi. Thank you so much for stopping. Didn't think anyone would stop for me here. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. You just don't say shit? Are you in the middle of steering, sir? <laughs> I can't call for help, there's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Just up the road, just the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thanks so much, could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up, just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Okay, I got dog food! Sir, can I trade? some dog food for you do I need to all right well he dropped his tailgate without even hopping out you need to hurry up I don't have all day I'm done finally now hop in and be quick you sound like a huge dick and I'm surprised that you even stopped to help out but now I just put myself in a position hey yeah you're that one guy at the store that I was trying to have a conversation with Trying to be polite too, and you totally just ripped me off. Okay. Well, sir. Keep your eyes on the road. So you won't tell me who you are, where you are going. I'd rather not say if that's okay. I live really close from here. I was driving home. Um, I don't know. I'd rather not say if that's okay. I was driving home, and that piece of crap broke down on me. <laughs> 
Jason? Jason? What? What? Oh, my name's Jason. It's nice to meet you, Jason. Okay. I didn't tell you my name, but... Now I feel like I'm uh, playing that game. I never played it, but that where you get a, a ride from like some preacher guy. And then he ends up fucking killing you or some shit. You're really lucky I had to be on this side of town tonight. I must say, you are one brave young woman. How's that? What is that supposed to mean? How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was a battery. It's an old car. I don't know. It never broke down on me like that before. I'll tell you what happened. That fucker in the white van sabotaged my vehicle. It's my dad. It's pretty old. What? Are you and that guy in cahoots? Probably. Who really knows, right? So what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? I didn't listen a single word. He really creeped me out. He's funny. He really creeped me out, I guess. Because the other options seem kind of like, what? Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. Can I still talk to you? So it's true? What, the monster? Let's see. I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are... There are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been woof, one of them. Hey listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. Okay. Alright, well... I guess I'll wait until uh, you want to interact with me again. Or something happens. Not sure. But, oh, there we go. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. That's alright if you're not a fucking maniac killer, I guess. Oh, I couldn't say, like, oh, it's alright, man. Oh my god, I'm, I'm dazing out. I fell asleep. I fell asleep in this stranger's vehicle. Now he's gonna tie me up. Ooh, God, 12.08 a.m. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. What a gentleman. Cool. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful. There are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Okay. Well, two two, Jason. Thank you, sir. There's all my shit. Apparently, I gotta go chat it up with this man the man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable gal need a room to shack up for the night how much is it for a room um yes I'm only going to be here for a few hours how much is it $40 for a single pay cash only thank you sir room number nine right over there talk about car? Do I have to? Can I? No? Okay. Talk about the car. $90. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Damn, just 90 bucks? Okay. Cool. Or is that just 90 bucks to check it out? Or is that 90 bucks just to go get it? Good, I'll let Tommy now. And one last thing. What? Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. Well, I could totally understand and agree, but okay. Kind of strange that you're telling me that, but okay. Room three, room four. No, yeah. <sighs> sorry. Probably shouldn't wander into the darkness. <laughs> Let's uh keep this good. Oh, do I need this? Well, you're not saying anything, but... It was nice and warm inside. Creepy pictures. No mattress. Why is there no mattress? Except there was a smell, a type of musky smell. Okay. It's Superman! Didn't need it. <laughs> I didn't need it. I didn't need it. 
I'll turn that off for now. Is there a man in here? No, no. I'm still looking. Is there a man in here? Oh, nice. I can fit in there. Is there a reason why I can fit in there? You're good. Oh! What the fuck? What are you doing here? You scared the guy? I should be asking you. I'm Tommy, room service here at Roadway in the finest stopover in Norwood. What were you doing in there though? You know, cleaning stuff. Guy at the front desk gave me this room. He he he. The fuck? I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. Fucker. God! What the hell, dude? Is there anything different about any of these now? Well, there's a tow truck. Doesn't look like it. And I still can't use that? That's exactly what I need it for! I need to get my shit! We got off on the wrong foot and I'm not even trying to frickin' chat with you. You just make my room, get out, go get my vehicle tomorrow morning. Please, thank you. Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. What? But don't you worry, it's safe here. I go get your car. <laughs> and also the room's phone is not working. If need anything, just ask at the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough gas lately. He he he. But you have a good night. All right, sir. You get the frick out. Thank you. Where are you going, by the way? I'm just curious of where Tommy's going. Okay. Oh, he's gone. He's on his way out. Hopefully to go get my fucking vehicle. What to do? What to do? What to do? Should I go to bed? Take a shower. What did he do? He probably set up some weird shit. Like right there, I bet. Fucking creeper. Anything in here that I should know about? Awfully strange that I can just fit in here. Okay. Okay! He said it didn't work, but it had a freaking dial tone, so... What the fuck? Call it a foresight, but there was something very off about that place. Do I need to get up? Do I want to get up? Don't think I want to get up. If I learned anything from the last game is, uh... Do not open the door. fuck was that noise? Something about a cup of coffee, I heard that. Oh, there's a coffee machine, that's right. Oh. So, maybe that other door that I heard, that was, uh... Somebody just going into their room, that fucker going into their room. Why do you want a coffee at this time of night? Come on. Not sure if this was the coffee machine, but... Yeah, coffee. Does it matter? Espresso, cappuccino, French vanilla, I'll take that. Delightful! Consume! Oh, 
my lord. Oh. We gotta get back. Come on. We gotta get back. 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 Is there somebody in there? Oh. 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 What the fuck? What the fuck? We put acid in the coffee? Dude, I'm totally not safe because they obviously have the, the locks or the, the, like, you know, master keys or whatever. They could, yeah, I was sedated. They can totally get into my room if I even lock the door. No. No, you again. No. And why is my shit on that side? It doesn't make any sense. And the phone's working? Fuck off. Okay, I guess I get up. Do I need to? I should have known. I should have known. No. 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 Auto save. Auto save. <sighs> okay. Freaking back at it. Holy crap, man. Ugh. That was freaking intense. So, yeah, I know now. Do not. Leave that alone. <laughs> there we go. Joe from the front desk, open up. Okay. What's up, Joe from the front desk? Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noise noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that why your eyes are all red? Mention the coffee machine. I guess I don't really have a choice, right? Are you messing with me? We don't have no coffee machine here. It's right over- Dude, it's not gonna be there! Okay, okay, here. I've had enough of your crazy goons- Of you crazy goons here. For once, I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. Follow me. I hate my job. Dude, it's not gonna be there. You know it's not gonna be there. And that guy who's peeking through my window, I actually saw which room he went into. He went into freaking this room right here. Now I'm curious, is there anything back here? Oh God, go back to your room. I swear to God, it was right here. What is it? What happened? I said go back now. Okay. Did you not hear me? I said go back to your room and don't get out. Check the table by the TV. What? There should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. I did see that little prescription bottle. Kind of weird that we got to some random medication inside little motel rooms. And also that guy is a... Uh, Kind of sitting in my closet. Did not address that at all. Like, okay. Yeah, right. Probably gonna fucking drug me. Again. Okay. Requires water. I'm not even gonna mess with that. That freaking closet, man. Nope, not messing with that closet right now. Oh, I don't even want to look at it. I'll just shut that door. All right, 
Let's go back to bed. Let's hope nothing happens. No? Is this not what you want me to do? <gasps> yes, I'll give you the details later, Chief. All right, Lois. Let's... Lois! What the fuck is going on? Hello? Hi. Hello? 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 Are we just gonna keep doing this? Oh my god, I don't know what to do. One wrong step and I could have to restart. Oh, you're fucking closer, dude. The fuck? Hello? Who is it? Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please, please open the door. I am not opening the door. First rule. I know you're in there. Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Why does that even matter? Please go away or I'm going to call the cops. Pretty lady. Oh my god. Oh. Hi. Hello? Hello? Good thing my microphone isn't connected to my computer, you asshole. My microphone's connected to a different computer. So fuck your little microphone bullshit. It's not working on me. Fuck is that draining noise? Oh god. Dude, why wouldn't you check the fucking closet? Is there anything for me to do in here? Oh god. Joe's here. Oh. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get police involved as it would have affected motel's reputation and let go of the situation i believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year i never went on a long road trip again i would always take airplanes <laughs> Survivor, baby! Dude. Special thanks to all of you guys. I'm just kind of curious to where this is going to lead to. It. Oh my god, dude, that is so freaking good. How many more episodes are there? Three more, apparently. It was so good. I don't know why I'm looking in here, but God man, that was so good. And even better than the first one. Like the first one was good as like a nice starter thing, you know, just inside your house. Not all crazy big. Like this one was actually quite Quite extensive for what we uh, what we did. All the driving, the gas station, more driving. That weird little... I don't even know. It was like a bunch of like little shacks. And there was like a gate. And then I could hear like some weird growling sound. So I don't know if that was like a dog. Nothing popped out, but... 
and then just like the trees in the middle of the road and then just more driving that we dealt with and then coming here to this motel there's a lot more going on in this game super fucking creepy so creepy man Ah, uh, dude like obviously just everything about it just creepy just cause you know you're coming into a game where it's like some shit is gonna happen to you it's a given, right? But some of the main times where I thought like for sure, this is it. The first time getting the coffee. Like I felt like as soon as that happened and you're trying to get your way back to your room, that the Holly, oh, that was one thing I never checked again. All the messages that you got when, like right around the time, like after you get your room and like the coffee and all that shit, I wanted to, like when I had to restart, and I did all that shit in the motel and then I finally got back from being all like drugged out and I was in my room and it laid down I w once I was able to get out of that and come back and like bring back the video and start fucking chatting away again read the text messages but I never even went back to the text messages there was messages from my mom from that friend of mine I think it was like Alyssa or something like that then even from my dad and I wanted to read those, but I didn't get to read those. Fuck, I totally forgot about it. But I mean, there was all this other shit going on. I was kind of caught up in the moment, but for sure at that time, getting the coffee, I thought I was gonna be abducted right then and there when you're trying to make your way back to your room. But I didn't bother looking behind me to see if that was the case. Maybe I could have been abducted, I don't know. Maybe that was another way to like, you know, you like fail you and then starting over. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Really good, really good stuff. But I'm gonna end the video right here. So if you liked the video so much as I did, or I mean, I'm not watching it, but I'm experiencing it. And this was awesome all in its own. Gameplay alone, super freaking awesome. But if you enjoyed watching this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see ya. Peace.